What's up fishing friends, it's Mr. Bass and I'm really going to love doing this video today because I love fishing tackle. I love baits, I love lures and um, I'm always looking for new baits, new lures, new colors even though you don't need a ton of different colors most of the time. I still love it when new colors and new things come out and the guys over at LureNet have lured me in um, because uh, they're always uh, trying new colors and stuff. And so what I thought I'd share with you today are uh, mostly Yum Baits, the new baits by Yum and new colors by Yum. Uh, some of these I may have shown to you in previous videos like the Yum Dingers. I'm going to push that to the back side of the video in case you uh, don't want to look at those. Uh, but in any case, there's some really cool new baits and new color schemes here that uh, really got me excited and I wanted to share those with you. So just going to go through them and this is going to be a little more detail. I'm actually going to take the baits out and I'm going to show you the baits uh, kind of from uh, a view looking down overhead uh, so that you can, we can get kind of a close up look at these baits. And uh, so it might take a little more time if you're one of these people. It's like the flip, go, go, go. I want to see the next bait. I want to see the next bait. This may not be for you because uh, I'm going to show you the colors in detail. This is about the new colors mostly, although there are a couple of new baits that uh, we'll look at closely as well. So without further ado, let's get into it. One of my favorite Yum baits is their Craw Chunk. And this is a black blue shadow and green pumpkin purple. Um, I'm not going to show you those, but I am going to show you these colors because they just came out with, uh, you know, when I say they, uh, LureNet, and maybe there's other companies doing this too. They came out with this new color called Arsonist. And uh, this is for springtime fishing. And I'm gonna, we're going to look at this up close. And then uh, this one, I think, this black neon, I don't think is a brand new color, but the Arsonist is. But again, this is another great springtime color if they're not wanting like super bright orange or red. So let me show you these up close. We'll go with the uh, black neon first. You know, as far as chunks go, all chunks are great uh, for jig fishing. They make great jig trailers. And, uh, you know, you can fish them free rig, Texas rig, Carolina rig as well. Uh, but I've really, really, this has kind of become one of my favorite jig trailers. And the smaller size, the one I just showed you, I also like on a swim jig. But that's your black neon color. An arsonist, I'd say, is very sexy. It's a laminate, you know, so it's got a darker color here. And then like natural lures, it has the lighter color on the back, although lighter is kind of brighter, but that is supposed to be the lighter color. And this is the darker color. And the reason this is cool is because what they did is they went and they they got some Booyah baits to go along with this arsonist yum color. I love it when companies get together and they, and they kind of pair things like this. So here you've got the Booyah Mobster Swim Jig. I think this is Chris Jones' invention. And it's called the Arsonist as well. So they have an Arsonist swim jig that you can pair with the Yum chunk trailer on there. Now that's really an awesome idea. Let's go ahead and rig this up, see what they look like together. Here you have the Arsonist Mobster jig with that Arsonist yum jig trailer and to me that is just a thing of beauty that is so cool looking i mean that i need to be throwing that right now i got one that's a little bent out of the package but that is freaking cool and then the other color 
uh, that goes with this black neon is the is called body bag and this is what it looks like rigged up just a great looking combination really I mean dude that is sweet really really awesome color scheme if you have not tried the chunk craw you need to try it it is a great bait and uh, these mobs mobster swim jigs are pretty awesome too but I'm not done yet they also have created a covert series spinner bait in the same arsonist color now I don't know if they do a body bag or not um, I did not buy one because I couldn't find one at the time and I can't remember if it was out of stock or if, or what the deal was but let's go ahead and see what this covert spinner bait looks like with that trailer on it how about that Perfectly paired colors, man. That is just very cool. Man, oh man. Pair that with these swim jigs. That's a cool combination right there, man. I love it. Okay, Yum has some new lizard colors. I do not think the lizard itself is a new bait. If it is, somebody can put in the comments and let me know. But I think it's just some new lizard colors. Uh, I bought all uh, six-inch lizards. Great springtime bait. And uh, this first color is Junebug Red Flake. I do have to say, I hate Yum packaging, just for the record. All right, so... Check that out. June bug, red flake, and I think that's great. I really like June bug colors, and the red flake is a nice touch there. Next color is pumpkin groove. Texas rig it, Carolina rig it, jig head. Okay, this is what Texas Groove looks like. Pumpkin. This is what Pumpkin Groove looks like. Orange. And kind of like a watermelon color. They say pumpkin. Okay, it's pumpkin. To me it looks more watermelony. But either way, I like it. Watermelon Pearl Laminate. Here it is out of the package. Got some black flecks in the watermelon side. And then very pearlescent belly. I like that one a lot. That looks very fishable. I don't know how many new colors they have. <clears throat> I just bought all the colors that I could get. GB Haze. It's a kind of a translucent color. If you look in the tail. And uh, it's got some blue in there. I like it. <laughs> I wonder if there's any color here I'm not going to like. Mud Fleck. Almost looks black and bluish. Until you get to the appendage and then you're like, well, that kind of looks like a red bug. A black and blue red bug, maybe. Interesting. The last lizard I have is Dirt. Purple. Dirt purple. Uh, 
This looks very green pumpkin-y to me. That belly definitely looks like green pumpkin. And then, uh, again, dirt purple. That's not all, boys and girls. Yum has a brand new bait out called the Helgramite. Ned rig, split shot, jig header, drop shot. And it is a cool looking little bait. And they've got a ton of really cool colors too. So I bought as many as I could find and I'm going to break them open and show you up close what each color looks like. So the first one is Fool's Gold. Check that thing out. That looks like a great color to me. This one is called Northern Lights. Almost all of these are laminates. It's kind of funny. From this angle, you see all the appendages. They look almost clear. And the upper body kind of has a bluish tinge to it. And then you turn it underneath and it's kind of like a pearlescent blue. So Northern Lights is, it's a cool color. Next is Natural. Look at that thing. Bling, bling, all kinds of cool colors. And then underneath, whoo, a lot of flash, a lot of sparkle. So this one is actually more subtle on the top. It's funny that this is called natural. I'd say that Northern Lights looks more natural to me than this, but I like this color for sure. My lighting is not perfect either. So, you know, when you get these in real life, they might look slightly different, but I think it looks pretty close to natural in the camera as I look at it. Bubblegum Lemon Swirl. Maybe this is a pre-spawn or on the, on the bed. Maybe this is a bedding bait. It's got orange, yellow, pink, Bubblegum Lemon Swirl. <laughs> to me, it looks way more pink and orange than lemon. Lemon, you know, when I think of it, it's yellow. There are some yellow hints to it. But to me, that looks much more pink and orange. This one here, I think, really shows off uh, because it's kind of more solid and not full of lots of bling sparkles. You can really see the baits. Uh, or the, you can really see the details of each one of the uh, sections here. This is kind of what it would look like upright on a Ned rig. I want to do some underwater videos with this and see how how that thing looks. Okay, Cleveland. To me this looks very natural, like a green pumpkin. But it's called Cleveland. Looks to me like it's the same color, top or bottom. And of course the appendages are lighter color. That's probably the color you should be throwing. One that's not very flashy, pretty basic, pretty green pumpkin-y looking. Tremor. Another sparkly laminate. Got a light belly, kind of some pepper flakes in there. And on this side, it's got some sparkles, maybe some gold in the back. That's called Tremor. Earworm. 
Wouldn't want that worm in my ear for sure. <laughs> I like it though. Very nice. Earworm. Almost translucent. You can see right through it. It's got those black flecks in there. GB Hayes is one that, uh, you know, a lot of baits, a lot of their baits, you can get this GB Hayes color in. GB Hayes. It's kind of funny when you see the light through it. You know, you can see a little bit of chartreuse there. It's, it's not chartreuse, but just kind of the angle of the light refracting through there. It's got some blue in it for sure. Not too shabby. GB Hayes. This is Copper Creek. Copper Creek. Pretty dark on the back. Trying to do a little. And then there's your copper on the belly. Definitely a copper flakes. So if they're eating orangey, coppery colored baits in your part of the world, this might be the one to go for. And the last Helgramite that I have is pearl white. There it is. Couldn't have described it any better. That definitely looks like a pearl. Right out of the oyster. Alright, so that's all of my Helgramites. What do you guys think? I think this is a awesome little bait. I can't wait to throw it on my Ned Rig. And I really, really love the colors. Alright, that does it for all of my brand new stuff. I now I'm going to go back through the Yum Dinger colors for you diehards that just can't get enough of this kind of stuff. And uh, we'll take it from there. Okay, for you real tackle nerds, tackle junkies, show you the dingers one more time. This is Dirty Money. Really nice. You can see it's kind of darker on one side. Almost a brown on the underside. Dirty money. This one really doesn't do much for me. It's called Heartache. It's kind of a, I don't know what you'd call it. Kind of a dull tomato, I guess, is what you'd call it. I really do like gold mine. It's a, a dark color, but it's got all these gold flecks in it, which really, I think, kind of just take an average, you know, dark blackish color, a little bit of, I always like gold and black together, and I think that's what this is, black. This one we just looked at in the Helgramite, GB Hayes. Nice color, a lot of the blue flecks in it. Of course, it's got black flecks in it. It's kind of a watermelony color. You can kind of see there. But I really like Fresh Cut. Really like the look of this one. I don't know, it's just a color pattern that really appeals to me. Like Fresh Cut Grass. Quartz candy. Look at that. Don't need to say much about that, but you can see the flex in it. It's not just not just like an ice color. It's got there's even like a blue fleck in there. I don't know. A few different colors. Definitely when you really get to looking at it, there's a lot of color in there. Jello shot. How about that? 
A lot of blue in it. Blue bling. Tomato. It's a good color. And this one I don't think is new. Uh, maybe it's new for Yum, though. Like Strike King's always had a tomato color. Several other companies have. I don't know. Maybe tomato is new for Yum, but it's a great color. Especially in the springtime. Here's another one that appeals to me. This is a laminate called Money. And you can see kind of the lighter green, darker. Kind of the mix. There's the lighter, darker. Here's what it looks like in real life. You can see that lighter green again with like some gold flecks in it and then you get over to the really dark almost black money blue smoke If you like blue and kind of a natural looking blue, not too flashy, looks pretty good. Man, I got so many more of these. Hopefully you guys aren't getting bored. Pumpkin Groove, we looked at this on the uh, Elgramite, I think. Again, this is the one I said. It looks more like a watermelon to me, but it's got... Uh, a lot of orange flecks in it, copper flecks, if you will. Pumpkin Groove. Here's another laminate, Green Clown. That looks a lot like that money. There's your lighter colored side. I can see some purple in there. Some purple flecks along with the copper orangey flecks. And then you got a darker side, which I think is probably it's not black, it's maybe it's purplish, not sure, brownish. All right, copper candy. Wow, that is pretty. Definitely pretty. Don't know if I'd really be buying this one to fish with, but maybe in the springtime I'd give it a try. Mud Fleck, which is a laminate. It's like a black and blue and a green pumpkin, I think. Here's kind of your black and blue side. And then it kind of turns to a really dark, rich brown. I think that's brown underneath. That is a laminate, though. There's two colors there. I know this one is kind of hard to tell. GB Plum. Got to have a plum-colored worm. That is a great-looking color. You can kind of see the plum poking out on the end here. But it's definitely... If I was holding it up to the sun, you could see... More of that plum color. It's definitely got some plum, a lot of plum in it. All right, here's a nice spawning bait. Banana candy. And it's got candy in there. It's definitely got flashy flecks. It is not just a plain old yellow bait. Banana candy. Dirt purple. It is a dark purple, but it is a laminate as well with a brown side. There's the brown side. Again, some of these are so subtle. In my lighting, they're kind of hard to tell the difference, but this is your dirt side. There's your brown. You can see it better down here by this thumb than up here for some reason. Then you flip it over. And there's your purple. Olive pepper. That's a little different. Almost looks like a baby bass. It's a little more pearlescent than a baby bass, but 
where I would throw a baby bass, I would have no problem throwing the olive pepper. GP Sparkle. That also kind of looks like that money color a little bit. Some of them are really hard to tell. If I put them side by side, you might be able to tell a little better. This one's definitely unique. Russ Vegas. And I kind of describe this as a, it, to me it's got kind of a purple tint to it. It's kind of, it's a laminate. It's kind of translucent sort of, but it's got these, look at this, kind of like, it looks like streamers in it. And this one, I've probably caught more fish on this one than I have any of the others, just because I've thrown it more. It just interested me more. And I was throwing it in areas where I knew I had some shad type bait fish. And I just was wondering, that will these little flecks, these little flashes, what will the fish think? The fish like the color, let me tell you. They like the color for sure. Russ Vegas, green gill. I like this. I love any kind of bluegill bait. This also kind of looks like a sprayed grass without the purple in it. But definitely like it. Green gill. Here's another green bait. Avocado. Avocado guacamole I like it I really like this one a lot it's definitely got purple in it too if you look at the flecks up close there's definitely some purple in there and black and green mm -hmm. avocado another greenish bait ripe this is a laminate Real green on this side, and again, tons of colors. So many different flecks of color, sparkles. And then it gets darker. And this kind of looks bluish to me. Like, uh, definitely looks black and blue, bluish. And then more of a green on the back side. Ripe. You've got to have a June bug worm as well. And this is June bug red flake. Check it out. Very nice. Now, again, this in my lighting may fool you. It is a dark bait, but in the dark, in the bright, bright sunshine, it's going to be more translucent than it looks here. It is on the dark side. I mean, don't. I don't want to mislead you here, but very nice June bug red. Last one, Lucky Charm. Lucky Charm, and it looks like it's a laminate also. Got a lot of gold in there. Feeling lucky? You might want to throw Lucky Charm. Okay, uh, that does it. Was that enough color for one video? I hope it was. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I love that kind of stuff. I could do this for hours and hours and hours. And geez, how long did this video turn out? I don't know. I, I haven't edited it yet, but it's a long video. There was a lot of cool new yum baits there. A lot of cool new colors. I absolutely loved it. I hope you did too. If so, please go check out one of my other videos. That greatly supports the channel. I would really, really appreciate that. And let me know, what were your favorite colors? Put that in the comments. I would love to see what your favorite colors were and which baits did you like best. The swim jigs, the chuck trailers, the helgramites. Uh, let me know what, what was your favorite on there. I would love to hear your opinion. Until next time, this is Mr. Bass. Happy fishing!